Hello humans, how art thou today? Doing pretty decent here. Apologies for the long, long wait time. Um, it has been a couple of weeks since I made my recent video. Like last time, it was a couple weeks before then, so I do apologize. Had a lot of stuff going on with the family. Um, not going to dig into that, but it wasn't too great. But everything's back to somewhat normalcy. Um, I'm also kind of getting over a cold a little bit here, so yeah. That's why I have not been here. But anyways, um, I hope everyone's been doing well. Today is Super 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 Bowl Sunday, which is freaking awesome. Unfortunately, it's the Patriots versus the Falcons, and 90% of the people want the Falcons to win. It's the Falcons, isn't it? See, is it? Atlanta Falcons? Yeah, I think so. Honestly, I don't really care. Um, neither one of my teams, Colts or Broncos, are playing. I don't really want the Patriots to win, so it could be the freaking Giants. It could be the freaking 49ers, Miami. I don't care. If someone beat the Patriots, I'd be happy. So, I don't know. My um, cousin's, I guess, cousin's husband, I guess we would call it. Maybe he would be considered my cousin as well. Um, he is a diehard Patriots fan, and we, me and him have been going back and forth for a long time between uh, Brady and Manning. But, I've got no one now. Anyways, so, uh, aside from all that, hope all you guys are doing well. And today's video is going to be... A very, very special video that we haven't had in a little while that I want to get back on track on. It's where we ask that question. Is it worth it? Now, the product I have today, Meow, Meow Yun, has been wanting for a really, really long time. It's very expensive. Um, we finally were able to get one on sale. I'm going to come right out and say it's 200 bucks, but we got it for like 75 bucks. Um, because she's wanted it for a really freaking long time. So I'm putting price point right out there just so you guys know. So it's right here. It is a sous vide. Now, I had to look up how to say that because it's French. But um, basically, it is a process of slow cooking food under control, low temperatures using airtight bags. Uh, food is then gently cooked in its own juices, which is delicious. So you put all kinds of good stuff in airtight bags, and you make delicious foods. Now, I got us um, a yummy strip steak from the butcher, and uh, I'm ready to cook that on up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go downstairs, we're going to test out the sous vide. Basically, you like you put it in like a pan of water, apparently. Um, you set the temperature, low temperature, uh, a certain time, let it cook, you come back out. There's two things you can do at that point. You can sear it in, on like a frying pan, or you can cook it, you know, eat it as is. Now, normally eating it as is fine, but some people like the look of the searage. So we might even sear it afterwards. Doesn't defeat the purpose because uh, normally with the searing everything cooking in a frying pan, you can have a bad steak, miss, miss a lot of cooking, etc. This is supposed to make everything the same temperature throughout the whole steak. So, long ass intro, uh, talking about the sous vide and catching up with you guys. So let's hop to it. Let's get everything prepped, uh, go downstairs, and begin the sous videing. I don't know, I just made that up. We're going to start working this, so let's do it. Alrighty, we got all we need here. We have the sous vide. We have our New York strip steak. Sous vide is style cooking. That's not called sous We have the sous vide machine. We have our... <laughs> whatever. We have our New York strip steak. So what would be the proper term for this device? It's a per, yeah, it, yeah. They call it a precision cooker. Pre an Anova precision cooker. Ah, okay. Anova precision, precision, precision cooker. So is it worth it? Anova precision cooker, not sous vide. <laughs> Moving on. So... We have our Anova Precision Cooker, sous vide style. <laughs> New York strip steak, is salt, pepper, some rosemary, and some fresh garlic. Knife, cup of pot of water. So, Meow Yun, if you want to begin the process. So, first, I gotta grab this Anova, and then you clamp it into the side here. So it doesn't, doesn't move. Show some spirit, Meow Yun. Okay, and then we gotta plug it in. And then we set the temperature. I'm gonna set it. This is where you set it. This and is the current temperature. What does that do? What? What, uh, what type of steak are you making? I'm making a medium. Okay. So I'm gonna set it to 136. You saw that on the directions already? Yeah. Okay. And so it's currently at 47, you're set to 136, gotcha. Okay, so it's set there, but then I have to go to my app here. 
after you connect it. So now it's connected and ribeye, it's not a ribeye, but it's a strip. Maybe I should change that. Yeah. So you go to guide, steak, strip, medium. Okay, so the temperature set to actually 139 because that's what the app says. And then you go to the app, it's a strip steak and medium, 139. And then you hit start. So, okay, so now it's heating up the water. It shows the hot water as it heats up right here, the temperature. And then once it gets to the target temperature, it'll tell me on the app and I can put the food in. So let's just prepare the ingredients, shall we? All right, so as you guys can see, it's moving on up. And what we're gonna do is Mialiana's gonna chop the garlic, get the rosemary ready, salt, pepper, season the steak, put everything inside here. That hair clip is actually there on purpose. We're gonna clip that bag to the water, allowing the steak to cook. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with the action shots, the chop, 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 and the stuff, stuff, stuff. By the time we come back, we're gonna come back after everything's done, we're gonna check out the steak. Okay, so we don't have a zip sealer, but so I got all the food in there. I got the garlic and the rosemary. And you gotta put it in the Ziploc bag. And this is called like water displacement, basically. It gets all the air out. You put it in, submerge it, you push all the air out. Handy dandy trick if you don't have a sealer thing. Yeah, I just closed it and left a little bit open, but I'm pushing all the air out. This is what happens to your lungs. No, and then you close it. All right. All Look at do. that. Practically vacuum sealed. It's not completely, <laughs> but it's better than, you know. Exactly. So now what? And then we wait until it's heated up. And then you drip it in. We're almost there. So I'm not going to have you guys see the action shot on that because that's pretty stupid and a waste of time. We're going to take that steak. We're going to drop it in that. We're going to come back after it's done cooking. Bam, bam, bada, bam, bam. Here we go. It's done. Turning it off. what it looks like. Let me move this over. Hair clip. Meat. Pure deliciousness. It's got all the juices Look in there. Look at all that steak juices in there. Oh, it looks so good. Okay. So what she's going to do now is she's going to take it out of the... Well, she already did. And then she's going to put it in this. We're going to throw some butter in there. We're going to um, cook it up just a little bit just to give it a little... Uh, crunchy outside you can definitely eat it right now you can see it's ready to go but some people like the, the outside texture is kind of exactly some people like a little sear to it so obviously you're gonna let it rest and everything once we sear it and then uh we're gonna slice in you're gonna see you know how i like it and we're gonna find out that age-old question mm -hmm. i am ready for my steak are you ready for this steak now presenting this delicious new york strip after we used the anova precision cooker um, so sous vide style. As you can see, look at all of these freaking juices. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I let it rest for five minutes. I know how to properly do a steak, but I want you guys to see underneath the bottom here. That is insane. That's beautiful. Now, I'm going to cut right into it here. Right in the middle. Right in the freaking middle. Like, look at that. Like butter. Like butter. Oh. <laughs> is that not gorgeous? All right, let's say. Oh, let's keep going. Let's let's just let's just go all the way through. What? What? That's almost the end. Where are we at here? Let's try again. Let's try again. Oh, every single slice I'm seeing here is consistent medium cooking for a steak. Now, th what I'm doing here is blasphemy. You don't cut your steak like this because I'm losing all the juices, and I intend to eat this very quickly. But I wanted to show you guys. Consistent, 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 because that's the one thing they brag about with this style of cooking, is that you're going to get a consistent uh, medium temperature, a consistent flavor, everything's delicious. Miao Yun, does it not look sexy? It looks good. How, how's it look? It looks real good. Like sexy? Yes. How's it look? Real good. She ain't going to say sexy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to slice me off a bite here, and I may cut this off if I look like an idiot. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that cut style! Now we did sear a little bit because obviously we wanted to have it at, you know, seared the flavor, a little butter and stuff like that. So I'm going to put this juicy, can you get that, uh, is that zoomed in okay? Yeah. Juicy, delicious piece of steak. And uh, I'm going to chop it down and we're going to test it out. So, oh. You can pull it up. You can pull it up. Let's put that in my mouth. She didn't show you. 
Big knife. Big Josh O'Neill. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> Dude, here, have a bite. Have a bloody bite. Yeah. Mmm. It's so, so good. So I'm gonna feed one to Meow Yun here. Right, I'm gonna cut a little small. Look at that! Look at that! Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What do you think, Meow Yun? Mmm. Mmm. So I'm gonna come back after I eat this steak, and I'm gonna let you know how I think about it, really. So, be right back, humans. She's zooming in on me. Holy guacamole, that is so good! It just blows my mind. Look at this steak, man. I'm sorry, I know I was gonna cut. Look at this freaking steak. That is so juicy. All we did was stick it in a freaking pot with a water boiling machine, and then a little bit of buttery sear on the outside to make it crispy, crunchy, yummy. And holy fr- I mean, look at it, look at it. This, are you not entertained? All right, anyways. Wow, so that is a really, really freaking good steak. Um, that is high, that, that's the best steak we've ever made here at home. Um, I mean, probably one of the best I've had out in restaurants because they're not always consistent. Some restaurants are better, some restaurants are not. Some restaurants just suck sometimes. But that is a really freaking good steak. But um, I really have to ask the question. Is it worth it? Hell yes! 10 out of 10 on the Josh o meter. I have found the miracle I have been searching for. Holy moly. I mean, look, all right, so this is the Innova Pressure uh, Precision Cooker. Uh, again, I apologize for calling it the sous vide because that's the style of cooking. Clearly, I'm a barbarian. I just slap them on the grill and whatever. But wow, that is literally one of the best steaks I've ever had. Now, obviously, you got to know how to season a steak and you got to know how to, you know, garlic, rosemary, uh, you know, pepper, salt, all that good stuff. But it, it, everyone should know the basics anyways. It's the cooking and the consistency, whether you're going to get a medium, medium rare. Uh, if you're saying, well done, I'm going to slap you because uh, steaks are not meant to be like that. Now, always remember to make sure you rest your steaks for about five minutes. You can do even 10 minutes to, based on the weight of the steak because the more you wait, the less juices are going to escape. Um, a lot of the juices escaped with me because I was just slicing it all, you know, all over the place so you guys could see the consistent cutting. Um, anyways, I am truly blown away. I am keeping this product. I know it's 200 bucks and we got it on sale for 75 I'm sure you guys can find it somewhere as well. But I can tell you it is completely worth it. And not a brand here. They did not sponsor me at all. I, she just has been, Meow Yen has been wanting this forever and I, we finally broke down and got it. So... Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys all for liking, commenting. Oh, I'm just kidding. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> liking, I want to eat that so bad it's killing me. Liking, commenting, subscribing, uh, sharing the video. I hope you guys enjoy this. Next week we're probably going to be doing, uh, might be the egg challenge next week. I know uh, I've been wanting to do that for a while. Maybe a video game, top video game, um, think I'm a bobber. Got a lot of plans coming up. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry it ran a little long, but you had to see every part of the story to understand the precision cooking. Alrighty, guys. Have fun watching the Super Bowl. If you're not watching the Super Bowl, have fun on a boring Sunday. And um, I will talk to you guys all next week, meow.